Hello and welcome children to class 11, your English class. Today we are going to do a very beautiful poem titled A Photograph by Shirley Towson. You will find this poem in your English textbook, The Hornbook. Before we begin with the poem, let us know a little about the poetess. The poetess Shirley Towson was born on the 20th of May 1924 in Henley on Thames, England as the daughter of Douglas Horsfall Dixon and Marjorie Brown. She had a huge passion on writing and was greatly influenced by her father who was a writer too. She secured a BA on literature from Brockenhurst College in London in the year 1953. Shortly she took writing as a career but also served as the editor of many magazines. In the meantime, Celtic Christianity influenced her greatly. In the poem A Photograph, Shirley Tolson describes three stages. In the first stage, the photograph shows the poet's mother standing at the beach enjoying a holiday with her two cousins. She was 12 or so at that time. The second stage takes us 20 or 30 years later. The mother would laugh at the way she and her cousins Betty and Dolly were dressed up for the beach holiday. In the third stage, the poetess remembers her mother with a heavy heart. The photograph revives nostalgic feelings in the poet. So children, now let's come to the poem and try to understand it line by line. Please see lines 1 to 7. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands, and she, the big girl, some twelve years or so, all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. Now in these lines, the poetess tells us that she looks at a photograph in which, in which her mother was a twelve-year-old girl and she was along with her two cousins Betty and Dolly at the seashore. The mother then was a sweet girl. All three, that is her mother who was 12 year old and the two of her cousins Betty and Dolly, all three were holding hands and smiling through their hair while looking at the camera which was held by their uncle. Line 7 to 9 a sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born, and the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. Here the poetess Shirley Tolson describes the photograph. She says that the sea remains unchanged, but humans are impermanent, they are transient. Here itself the poet hints at the fact that her mother is no more. Lines 10 to 13. Some 20 30 years later, she would laugh at the snapshot. See Betty and Dolly, she would say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. Time flew on wings. 20 or 30 years had passed. The poetess Shirley remembers how her mother laughed at the photograph whenever she looked at it. She used to point out at her cousins Betty and Dolly and laughed at the way they were dressed up for the beach years ago. Lines 14 to 20 The sea holiday was her past. Mine is her laughter. Both wry with a laboured ease of loss. Now she, would, she had been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. And of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all. It's silence silences. Here the poet says that the sea holiday was the most cherished and precious memory for the poet's mother. The mother's laughter was the most precious memory for the poetess. The mother has lost her golden days of childhood and the poetess has lost her mother. Both the losses are difficult to accept. That's why she says 
both rhyme with the laboured ease of loss. That means both the mother and the daughter, that is Shirley Tolson, both had faced losses in life. The mother lost her childhood and Shirley Tolson lost her mother on her mother's death. So both the losses were difficult to accept. The poet's mother passed away 12 years back and in the photograph the mother was 12 years old. The death of her mother has silenced the poet and made her speechless. You see the line where she says, there is nothing to say at all, it's silence silences. So what is the it here? The death of her mother, the loss of her mother. The loss of her mother has silenced the poetess and has made her speechless in sorrow and pain. Yes children, now let us recapsulate the poem with the help of these pointers. The poet looks at an old photograph. It shows the poet's mother and her two cousins, Betty and Dolly. The poet's mother was standing on the beach along with her two cousins, enjoying a beach holiday. Their feet were being washed by the sea waves. The mother was just a young girl of 12 or so. Her uncle captures the sweet smiles of the three through their hair. That was long ago when the poet wasn't even born. Then some 20 or 30 years had passed. The mother would laugh at the photograph and at the way they were dressed up for the beach. That sea holiday had become a thing of the past for her mother and her mother's laughter was a thing of past for the poet. The, po the mother had been dead for years now. The death of her mother has left a pall of silence all around her. Though the poem is a very simple one, there may be some words which may need an explanation. For example, paddling means walking, transient means temporary, snapshot is photograph, right is disappointed. There are some poetic devices which you may know as literary devices or figures of speech used by the poetess in this poem. The first one is alliteration. What is an alliteration? An alliteration is when same sounding words have been used in close connection. In this poem, there are three examples of alliteration. Stood still, terribly transient, and silent silence. The second poetic device used is an oxymoron. An oxymoron is when contradictory or opposite terms have been used together to create a new effect a new meaning. In this poem, it is the term labor ease. Labor means hard work. Ease means being easy, just the opposite of labor. So labor ease has been used together, two contradictory words have been used together to give a new meaning. The third figure of speech is the personification. Personification may be already known to you. It is when human Characteristics are attributed to a non-human form. In this poem, the example of personification is, at the end of the poem, it's silent silence. Now here, it is death. Death has been given a human form here and said that death has put a silence to it. Children, here is an assignment for you to complete. Now, unless you do this assignment, you will not be very clear with the poem. So, I have given you five short questions here to be done. You have to answer these questions within 30 to 40 words. Question number one, describe the photograph. Now, Please observe that in the question, the photograph is not within inverted commas. If it was within inverted commas, it would mean describe the poem photograph. But here, it is just describe the photograph. So you have to describe the photograph of Shirley Tolson's mother along with her two cousin sisters. Question number two, explain terribly transient feet that is about the impermanence of human life question number three 
What was the mother's reaction on looking at the snapshot? Question number four. Elucidate the meaning of both rai with the labored ease of loss. Here you have to talk about both the losses of the poetess's mother and of the poetess. Question number five. The poem is a depiction of the three stages of life. Justify the statement. If you have carefully listened to my initial explanation of the poem, you will know what to write in this answer. This poem reminds me of a very popular saying, Death leaves heartaches no one can heal. Memories are treasures no one can steal. So though the poetess Shirley Tolston had lost her mother in death, the memories of her mother were always with her. Thanks for watching children. This is Mrs. VK Jayashree from Excel English with VKJ. If you have liked my video, please like, share and please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.